You can see those arms coming open now. It's going to take about 15 seconds for them to fully open, but once they're out of the way, the strong back will recline away from the vehicle and give it room for liftoff. All systems are currently go for an on-time liftoff. Those white clouds venting from the rocket are not, it's not smoke. Ground gas closeouts. That is condensation. And we just heard that the call out for the gas closeout has started. Now at this point, the autonomous flight computers have taken over the launch countdown and stages one and two are pressurizing for launch. LD is go for launch. And with that note from the launch director, all systems are go for launch of Transporter 15. Thirty seconds. Fifteen seconds. T minus ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ignition, engines full power, and lift off. Go Falcon, go transporter 15. At T plus 31 seconds into flight, Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off from Space Launch Complex 4 East at Vandenberg Space Force Base in California. We're, curr we're currently throttling down to prepare for max Q, the point of maximum aerodynamic stress Power on the vehicle. Nominal. Max Q is reached when the air density of the atmosphere decreases faster than the increasing speed of the rocket. Mark one. Max Q. And there's the call out for Max Q. Merlin engines are back at full power and we're out of the throttle bucket. From here on, even though velocity is rapidly increasing, the atmospheric density is decreasing, resulting in less loads on Falcon 9. So coming up next, we'll have several events happening in quick succession, starting with Miko, followed by stage separation, and sec back, chill. second engine start, or SES-1. Main engine cutoff, or Miko, is where all nine Merlin 1D engines shut down to slow the vehicle down in preparation for stage separation, where the first stage separates from the second stage. Then the MVAC engine on the second stage will light, which is called out as second engine start one, or SES-1. This engine burn, lasting several minutes, will propel the second stage and our payloads to orbit. After that, the fairing will jettison from the second stage, as it's no longer needed to protect the payloads once we're in space. Nominal trajectory. We should be hearing the first of these callouts in about 10 seconds from now. Miko. Stage separation confirmed. I'm back, start up. And there you heard and saw those three events that happened back to back, including main engine cutoff, stage separation, and second engine start one. Coming up next will be fairing separation in about 20 seconds from now. We should be hearing that call out for fairing separation in just a few moments from now. Fairing separation confirmed. 
And there, we just heard confirmation of fairing separation, along with a view of those two halves separating from the vehicle on your screen. As a reminder, those fairings will make their way back to Earth for recovery. The next major milestone coming up is entry burn on our Falcon 9 first stage, 